Hello again, Pre-K class. How are you? Now, I meet you again, and here again, I'm going to read you a story. Hmm, have you been washing your hands with soap? I want you to wash your hands with soap every day, and as much as you can, before you eat food and after you eat food. All right, you've got to be very, very careful. Right. Today, I'm going to read you another story. I really miss you, you know that. I'd love to see you again soon. And I want to see you so you can help me turn pages. Well, let's get back to the story. Today, I'm going to read you another story. And the story is about Pingu. Hmm, have you seen Pingu on TV? Well, I've got some of the stories. And this one's a nice one because it's, it's about snowboarding you know what's a snowboarding well that's a snowboard can you see that and it goes on the snow you could sit on it or stand on it and it slides on the snow it's lovely right so here's the story there's pingu and the snowboard right one morning that's robbie Robbie called round to ask if Pingu would like to go snowboarding. There's Pingu, so he knocked at the door. Pingu, come on, would you like to go snowboarding? It's Pingu looking at him. Wow! Pingu was excited, very excited. Of course he wanted to do it, so he did he said yes i would love to go snowboarding mother told him be very careful just like all mummies do pingu be very careful so that's Pingu's mummy pingu and that's robbie with the snowboard robbie said the shark snowboard would go so much faster than Pingu's silly old fish snowboard. Look, that's Pingu's snowboard with the fishes. That's how he said it, yes. And that's the shark snowboard. Do you think that was nice? Do you think that was nice of him to say that? Hmm, we'll see that later. They raced down the first snowy shape. Can you see that? They're going down. And on their snowboards, oh, who won? Look, Robbie won. Robbie won. So Robbie laughed and calls Pingu a slow coach. He was laughing at Pingu. He said, you're slow. Hmm, I wonder if that's nice. That's a nice thing to do. Hmm, what do you think? Is it nice to say, call people names? Then they saw Pingy. That's Pingy's sister. Pingy. She was snowboarding. She was very good she's very good at snowboarding and can you see what color her snowboard is very nice color two colors yellow and i can't hear you yellow and green yes you're right yellow and green they came to a really big jump pingu thought it looked a long way down. Hmm. A little bit scary, isn't it? Pingy and Robbie jumped. They were both really good. Then it was Pingy's turn. Woohoo! 
Wen Ping Du. Look at him. Oh, ooh, can you do like that? Do you say something like that when your bike's going really fast? Mm, that's how Ping Du said. Robbie laughed when Pingu landed badly on his bottom. Ouch! He said, ouch! Hmm. Do you think it's, some, it's nice to laugh at somebody when they get hurt? I wonder. Oh dear, poor Pingu. It must really hurt him. Poor him. I feel he's hurt really bad. Pingy said she had just the thing in her rucksack for Pingus to save the bottom. She took out a plaster and, took, and put it on his back where it hurt him. And then Pingy tied a special cushion just on his back so it doesn't hurt him a lot. Okay. And it was a little cushion to support his back. I think that made him feel better. Robbie fell about laughing, so he's still laughing. He's still laughing. Hmm. After that, Pingy thought Pingu had to snowboard properly. So Pingy taught him how to do it. Oh, that's such a nice thing to do. So, sister is helping the brother. That's nice. At first, Pinky just fell over again. But with the cushion on his bottom, at least it didn't hurt. So, there was a good job Pinky tied the bottom, tied the cushion at his bottom. That's good. It was time for Pingu to try the bigger jump. Pingy took them over to the drag lift. <gasps> do you think he can do it? <gasps> Let's see. Robbie. Oh, Robbie. Robbie teased Pingu all the way up the slope. Pingu crossly told Robbie to leave him alone. So, if you don't like somebody saying something nasty to you, just so say, leave me alone. So that's what Pingu did. Leave him alone. Pingu took the jump first, and then Pingu followed. He wasn't afraid this time. Wow, Pingu. You're brave. He's not afraid anymore. Robbie shouted down to Pingy and Pingu that he was going to do the jump better than any one of them. <gasps> do you think he can do it? Robbie took off. He tried to do a really fancy jump, but it all went wrong. Ouch! Went Robbie. See, it happens to anyone. They should be laughing. When Pingy and Pingu rushed over, Robbie said, His bottom really hurts. There was only one thing for it. Now, what do you think? What do you think it is to help? They tied a cushion at their bottom. So their bottom doesn't hurt. Robbie needed a bottom cushion too. Properly padded, they were all ready to snowboard. Wow. Did you like this story? I like Pingu stories. But you know why I like Pingu stories? is because Pingu stories are really nice to learn from. So one thing we shouldn't be laughing at anybody who gets hurt and who can't try. Okay? So be nice. To everybody in the house, don't laugh, don't tease. I'll see you next week.
Thank you. Bye-bye.